Ready and rolling. If I got a feather in my hat, I have a feather in my hat. That's supposed to be a good thing. It's probably just the hat. You know what this is? Is a worn out hat. Mm -hmm. It's starting to come apart. A little bit like some of us that are getting older. You know, the only problem is, is the feathers in my hat up here in me have gotten way thinner. I don't get any new ones. This one's growing feathers and I'm losing them. So, you know, that's life, isn't it? Today we're here in the valley in Enterprise, Utah. Uh, we're coming over doing some, some final um, test work on some adjustments we've made on our round bale system uh, that we attach a round baler to a small steamer. And uh, we've, we've done some upgrades on our hardware and on some of the software as well to accommodate what we're gonna do here to test out these some of these, what we feel like are our final adjustments that we're making to this to prepare this for the market. So first thing we're doing right now is just setting this up for the round baler. We're gonna start our ramp time at 30 seconds. That's the amount of time that we're gonna ramp from our initial valve setting going into the, the steam going into the round baler until we go to the full, um, the full rate as we finish each round bale. Just making the rounds today. We're making the rounds in two ways actually here. We're uh, on a pivot here in Enterprise, Utah. We're getting down to the last few intros on the inside, so we're making some pretty tight rounds, but we're also making some pretty tight round bales. They look super good. Um, we're looking to make sure the bale is, is nice. And, I was gonna say square, but it's actually round but it has good shoulders on it and that it's solid. The density looks really good. It's the 15th of June. We're in Enterprise, Utah, somewhere nearby there. And with this, our second day of round bale testing. Now we've been doing this for a while, for three years, it's our third year doing it, but we've done a lot of refinement and yesterday we got started in the field. We thought we had this all nailed down. We started baling and all of a sudden we had a lot of crop residue um, coming into a little area where one of our manifolds was and building up real quickly on that manifold and causing trouble. Oh yeah. Whoop. This round baling's kind of interesting. I haven't done a lot of it, but I had a guy that knew what he was doing here a month and a half ago or so, and I learned a little from him. But those of you who are uh, baling round bales, you might be saying, wow, this driver is crazy. I don't know. It seems pretty simple to me. So we made one round first thing in the morning, made about 10 bales, and it was time to go to the shop. So. I went over, uh, talked, to, talked to one of my cousins here, Cody Staley, asked him if we could use his shop for a few hours to come in and redo a manifold on the top rear of the, the system. And so we went in there, we took that out, we cut off all the tubes, we re-threaded them and put some, the nozzles back in the shorter tubes. And uh, then we moved that manifold forward and just kind of aimed it a little bit different. And we put it back in, and three hours later we were back in the field and got going and it resolved that whole crop residue issue. It was awesome. And it still worked very well. We added some little rubber hoses on those nozzles to bring the steam down closer to the hay as it's coming up over the pickup and back into where it rolls into the bale. And so far it's done really well. We baled the rest of the day yesterday with no major problems with that at all. Just the typical little round bale things you have to stop for once in a while. But nothing that was negative as far as the steamer was concerned in the, in the round baling yesterday. Uh, we upped the valve size for discharging steam from our boiler so we can put a lot of steam in toward the very end of the, of the bale formation process. And our programming allows us to come in at a starting level of steam injection and then ramp up to the full rate to finish wrapping the bale at the end and, uh, and, then, and then having the, the net wrap put around it. And it's working really well. The bales look pretty decent. They're very solid. 
We bailed all the way through the day, day yesterday. Uh, the temperatures got up around 80 degrees and uh, it was super dry. The wind was blowing moderately, but the bales are nice and solid. They're, they're very dense and, uh, you know, sometimes I have that problem of density myself, but, uh, but the bales looked really good and, and we're happy. We're here just to finish up the last about one hour of baling here. We wanted to have a little time. We could get a little video work done while we're here today and just kind of confirm everything we learned yesterday.